I'm gonna show you how to start performing better in your upcoming games in five simple steps. The truth is this, the wild world of YouTube has so many different things that you can go out there and research and so many different videos on visualizing, meditating, all this. But the truth is, I think people are overcomplicating it. So in this video, I'm actually gonna give you the five things you need to do with cutting out all the noise and you'll see immediate results. This is actually something I'm taking from our Molly and Pocket Coaching Program, which is currently live on our site, and you can go check out there. Let's dive right into it. Hey, and if you're new to our channel, welcome. My name's Matt Calderoni, co-founder of Molotium, where we help athletes discover and reach their true potential by building their resilience. So the first thing you're gonna do if you wanna start performing better right away, and the thing we do with all of our pro athletes, you have to know your strengths. Your strengths are what allow you to dominate in performance. When you're operating to your strengths, you crush it. The truth is this though, most athletes don't operate to their strengths. In fact, they try to play a game that's not even in their wheelhouse. Now you might be sitting there saying, well, Matt, I don't know my strengths. Chill out, gonna help you with this right now. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. Step number one, you wanna get a list. You can get your phone, you can type it in your phone, you can get a journal if you like a journal, you can get an iPad, regardless, but you need a list, something to write down or take notes on. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is ask yourself this very simple question. What three things am I focused on? What three things am I doing physically in performance when I'm dominating out there? Another way you could ask this question is, if, I'm, if you're already successful, you could say, I'm already successful. What three things am I doing that make me successful? Then you're gonna write them down. Now, if you're freaking out saying, well, Matt, I have no idea what makes me successful. I don't know what I'm doing right. I'm just in a blender, whatever. Then fine, relax. Go to two trusted people, but these trusted people have to know your sport. They can't just be people who are random, like a mom or dad that just rah, rah, yay, support you. They have to be people who actually know the sport. And all you're gonna do is ask them this very simple question. When you see me dominating out there, when you see me crushing it, what three things am I doing really, really well on the field or on the ice or on the court? And let them tell you. But remember, this is why they have to be trusted and they can't just be cheerleaders. Cheerleaders might not even have the right information. You need people who know the sport. So once they tell you, write that down on your list. Very simple. Now, what you're gonna do once you have this list, you're gonna take those three things and you're simply going to rate yourself out of 10 on how well you use them in your last five games. What this is going to allow you to do and what it will shine some light on and what it always shines light on, especially with our pro athletes, is that you're probably not utilizing all of your strengths to your best capabilities. So you wanna go for a score of at least an eight out of 10. If you graded yourself and you gave yourself an eight out of 10 on all three of them, you're probably performing really well. If you graded yourself and you notice that only two of them have an eight out of 10 and one doesn't, you need to better that one skill. If you graded yourself and you notice only one has an eight out of 10, you need to better those two skills. And if you're somebody who's in a bit of a hole right now, you'll probably notice you grade way lower than an eight out of 10 on all three of them. So now that you have your strengths, you have to get into the next step. Now, step two is that you actually need to visualize yourself utilizing these strengths. We've talked about this in multiple different videos in the past, but visualization is one of the best ways to build certainty behind your actions. Without visualizing, if you're somebody who's trying to be a top athlete, most top athletes don't visualize it all. They know their strengths, but they're unsure of those strengths still. And you've probably found yourself in this kind of a situation before, which is totally normal. So what you need to do is remove the hesitation. And the way to do that is to have perfect practice or mental practice by visualizations. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your first strength that you wrote on your list before, and you're gonna visualize that 10 times perfectly practicing the skill. You're gonna then take your second strength and do the exact same thing for 10 reps. And you're gonna take your third strength and do the exact same thing for 10 reps. Now to make this simpler for you, we link down below the audio track that all of our pros use and all of our athletes use. You can simply download it by clicking on the link. Don't overcomplicate it. Now here's a major hack for visualizing. Don't make the same mistake that most do, which is just visualizing an outcome. You wanna go through perfect practice with the technique. If you don't go through perfect practice with that technique, you're not gonna be able to trust yourself. Because the truth is this, you actually have all that potential, but you're not tapping into that potential because you're hesitating behind your actions. So now that you know what your strengths are, visualize those strengths consistently so that you're able to go into performances without hesitating. Now you wanna do this five times a week before you fall asleep, so right before bed, because this is when your brain is in a state called theta. And in theta mode, your brain is actually absorbing everything that you're feeding it. So if you feed it perfect practice before you go to sleep, it's like marinating a steak, except it's marinating your brain, and it goes right in there and you create neuro associations. So the next day, you're certain about yourself. And it feels like you've already done it before and your nervous system registers it and allows you to go into performances not thinking. Now, if you're sitting there saying, well, Matt, I struggle with visualization, let me make it easier for you. There's two ways that you can do this when you're listening to the audio track. First way, you can pretend you're in a movie theater and you're watching yourself perform those sports. Or if you're somebody that likes video games, you can pretend you're watching a TV and you're watching yourself playing in a video game. That's one way that our athletes do it. Or the other way, 
If you're somebody who likes to play Call of Duty or video games like that, or you like to make it as realistic as possible, you can pretend you see yourself actually in a game in your eyesight, right, in your point of view, and you're actually physically seeing yourself shoot the ball or shoot the puck or whatever it might be. You can go through your own point of view if you want, but some people need to zoom out. Some people need to be right in their own point of view. You play around with that and see what works best for you. Step number three is you now need to practice these strengths on a daily basis. The great Kobe Bryant talks about how he used to shoot a thousand shots a week, I believe. I know that's a little crazy, but you don't have to go to that extreme. But the point is he practiced repetition behind the things he was already good at. He constantly sharpened his strengths. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see most athletes make is that they think that their strengths will just remain strengths. But it's like being in the gym and building muscle, right? You don't use it, you're gonna lose it. It's the same with your skills. It's the same when it comes to utilizing your strengths. If you don't keep your strengths sharp, it won't happen for you. So think about this for a sec. You just built now certainty behind your skills where you trust your skills. You now need to build confidence in your actions and confidence comes from seeing yourself get the results, AKA physical practice. So what you're gonna do is this, a very simple way. You're gonna take those strengths. You're gonna see how you just visualize that strength and utilizing it in performance. And now you're gonna go actually practice it on your own for five minutes a day. And you're gonna do each one five minutes a day. So that's 15 minutes total, very simple. It's one session. You're gonna do this before a practice or after a practice. And what I suggest you do is you create that environment to make it as realistic to game time as possible. Meaning that if you normally have, you know, a defender on you and you're a forward, you're gonna to wanna to grab a player or somebody else that can act as that defender for you and challenge you a bit. The point of this though, and the way that it works is you need to make it as intense as game time, as realistic as game time. If you're just going through the motions, it will not work for you. If you're just somebody who's going out there to practice to practice, it will not work for you. Kobe Bryant shot every shot like it was a game. He talks about how it was super draining for him. It was something that he actually challenged himself on. That way in game time, it can be easier for him. It's the same with you and it's the same with our pro athletes that we work with us on. If you're somebody who wants to better their confidence in this, you now need to take those strengths, sharpen those strengths, do it for five minutes a day before or after practice for each one for a total of 15 minutes. Now, if you don't have practice that day and you wanna go for a little longer, you can totally make those sessions longer. It's up to you. Just make sure you're not burning yourself out physically or mentally because the last thing you want is to go into a performance super tired. Step number four, you now wanna take your strengths and watch them in action. So how do you do that? You've got to study film. Most athletes don't do this and they forget something. The most natural way that we learn as human beings is by observing other people. Think about how you learned how to speak when you were a child. Your parents probably came up to you, said a couple words in your face over and over and over again, and eventually you started repeating it. You mirrored it back, you mimicked it. That's how we learn things, right? You go and observe, you go and see it. It's the most natural way. So what you need to do, you need to observe these strengths in action and not from your game. You need to watch your role models who are already doing it to the best of their ability. People who are already successful at what you wanna do. One of the worst things you can do is study people around you. Don't do that. It's gonna cause you to compare yourself to them. What you wanna do is see people who are already there. Now, if you're sitting there saying, well, Matt, I don't know who to start with. I don't know who to play like. There's two ways you can do this. One. Go ask that trusted person again, who do you see my game fitting best with who's already a pro athlete? And go watch that game. Or if you're like a lot of our pro athletes, watch the people you watched growing up. Watch the people that you watched who got you to where you are. A lot of our athletes used to study athletes as a child, right? They, they idolized over them. They, they were role models for them. And they go back at the pro level watching those same highlights. So here's all you're going to do. You're going to go to YouTube right now. You're gonna type in LeBron James highlights or Serena Williams highlights or Tom Brady highlights. And you're gonna watch those highlights. Or if you wanna get more specific for those skills themselves, it can be LeBron James three pointers, Serena Williams serve. Regardless of what it is, you can get as specific as you want, which I highly suggest. Or you can just watch their highlights and pick up on those skills that you're watching on. But the key is this when you're doing it, you need to isolate the one skill or strength you're watching for. So if you're watching LeBron James for his three point shooting, but one of your strengths is driving the lane and not your three point shooting, it's not gonna help you. What will help you though is watching how LeBron James drives the lane. So it's very simple. Take those strengths and then go watch them in action by others who have already done it well. You're gonna wanna do this at least twice a week and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're taking notes. You're gonna go back to your phone or your laptop or your iPad or your notebook if you're old school like me and you're gonna take notes on it and you're going to simply ask yourself, what skill am I watching? Write it down, that way you can go back and look at it. Then you're gonna ask yourself, who am I watching for it? Write it down, that way you can look at it. And then you're gonna write down, what did I like about how this person did it? 
write one point down. The purpose of this is not to get 20 million different points on it. You wanna get one thing, go apply it the next day for that specific skill, and that's how you get better at it. Watch your role models. It's like mental imagery, which is like visualization. And finally, step number five, you've gotta be intentional with your strengths now. So where most athletes fall off is they do all the work right, and they're feeling confident, they're feeling certain, they're feeling good, but then they don't focus in performances. And because they don't focus going into performances, they actually revert back to bad past habits and they stop focusing on their strengths. They try to be somebody that they're not. So here's what you wanna do. Going into performances, you need to take that strength and attach it to an intention because where focus goes, energy flows. Meaning that I can just go into performances focusing on shooting. If that's one of my strengths, let's pretend I'm a, uh, a hockey player and I'm focused on shooting, or I can shoot to score. Here's a crazy trick I'm gonna tell you, a major hack and a major insight that a lot of times you see with athletes. A lot of scoring slumps that we see athletes going through, it's actually not a result of them not knowing what they're doing. It's actually a result of them not being intentional enough, meaning that they're going out there and they're shooting, but they're not shooting to score. When they have that intent to score, they're actually optimizing their brain now to look for those corners to pick on net or you know, beating the goalie in a certain area. It's the same way you can say that one of my strengths are speed, but if you don't have an intention on how to use that speed, your speed to you know beat a player or your speed to get to the net or your speed to beat them down the wing, it's not gonna work for you. So all you're gonna do is simply attach an intention to what your strengths are. So if your strength is shooting, add to score to it, right? If your uh, strength is speed, add where you need to go with that speed. If your strength is aggression, add how you need to be aggressive. I need to be aggressive and move players away from the front of the net, that's great because all you're gonna do in performance now is constantly go back to those three things. Think of these like your cues or your focus. So here's how you're gonna actually use them because I know a lot of people are like, well, Matt, I know my strengths, I go into performance, but they still don't work. I bet you're not focusing properly. Here's how you properly need to focus. Go in there, execute a strength, come back, reset, do it again. Meaning, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna focus on shooting to score that shift, I'm gonna come off that shift, I'm gonna sit on the bench, reset. Where most athletes get this wrong, there's no reset and they try to just focus on winning. Don't go into games, focus on winning. You don't win by trying to win, you win by doing your job well. And then your whole team does their job and together you guys win. That's how this works, unless you're in a solo sport. So focus on the actions, be intentional with them, reset every single rep. That's all the best are doing. So for example, one of our pro athletes that we have in the NBA, all he's focused on is getting the ball, getting to the three line, shooting to score. Intention, 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 right? Action, action, action. Get the ball, get to the three line, shoot to score. Simple, he does that consistently. As a result, he scores. Where he was doing it before, where it was like to shoot the ball, wasn't working out for him because there was no intention behind his action. Put the intentions there and it'll work for you. So let's recap before we wrap this up. Number one, know your strengths. You know them now. Number two, visualize your strengths daily. Number three, practice your strengths physically daily. Number four, watch your strengths daily. And number five, focus on your strengths with intention and performance. It really all comes back to your strengths and you can use that audit I gave you at the start where you rated everything out of 10 anytime you feel like you're not performing to your standard. But this is a very simple process. Please go through it and please make sure to use it. Now, if you did get value from this video, please subscribe to our channel. We have so many people that come and watch our videos, but they don't actually subscribe. It helps this channel grow. It's not like we do any promotion that's paid on advertisements or anything. All we're doing here is giving you the best free content that we possibly can, and we're giving away the secrets. There's no hidden paywall behind any of this or anything like that. So all we ask is that you share this, like it, subscribe to it, click the notification bell. Comment down below too if this has helped you because it really helps us with the algorithm. So if you wanna work with our coaches, there's links down below as well. You can apply to work with one of our coaches one-on-one, -on -one, or you can also work through the Muleteam Pocket Coach, which actually hits all of this in this video in more detail but it's all there for you. And make sure there's also a link down below that you can subscribe to our free newsletter where we come out once a week with resilient skills like this so you can get to your next level. And with that being said, stay resilient and we'll see you in the next one. So if you like this clip and you wanna watch another one, click right here. And if you wanna watch the full podcast episode, click right here.